Hi guys, welcome to the DI workshop of Masterclass. Masterclass handouts are my handout which I release every year with the promise that 80% of the CAD paper pattern will be based on that. CAD paper pattern will be based on that. Not word by word same question, but yes, the similar question you will see in the exam. So this workshop will help you strategize yourself. So there will be four part quant, uh, DI, verbal and logic which I am going to introduce one every week to strategize yourself. So there are two parts of this workshop. One is for the free student which anyone can join which you can see this video. One is for the student who have joined us. So that is for the paid program where I'll discuss all strategies in detail. But this is more of a summary view about how to attempt the paper and what to expect from the paper. Alright. Alright, let's start the paper pattern first. So paper pattern of the DI section is going to be totally different from what you have seen earlier in your coaching institutes and everywhere. Because DI, what we think of DI is as numbers and you define the percentage growth, percent increase, percent decrease and lot of calculations. So yes, there will be a calculation in the other exam like IFT, SNAP and MET and ZAT. But in CAT DI section, there is not going to be any question on calculation. So once you have seen the test or once you will see the test after this, you will be seeing that there is no DI which contain calculation. Maximum calculation was finding the average of 2 plus 4 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3. That's it. That's the maximum calculation you have to do in the DI in this year, in this week, in this set. Right. So what I'm trying to say is the patterns completely change. So where to get these kind of questions, the easiest way to identify or solve will be CAT last year paper. So CAT 2004 to 2008 are the actual DI set which you need to get through. So last three years there have been zero set which is based on calculation. Fine. But in other exams, you are going to get calculation. So yeah, do keep doing your calculation based DI as well. But the CAD section is all about logic based DI. Fine. Now there is no difference between the logical puzzles and DI. Fine. Trust me, while solving the question, you won't even feel whether it's a DI or logic. Fine. So easy way to identify that is if it contains numbers, it is a DI question. If it contains no numbers, it will be a logic based question. Fine. That's the only way to identify a logic or DI difference. Fine. Now in this test there were 8 questions, uh, sorry 16 questions out of that your target have to be to solve at least 8. So that we will talk about in some time. Yep, so motor motor thing, this is the overall pattern. Alright, now if you see the selection of question is very important. So, so set selection is very important in this case as well. Now there were 2 medium sets and 2 difficult sets in this paper. That's exactly what is happening from the last 3 years. Fine. So your target is to identify two easy sets and leave the two difficult sets or do less out of difficult set. Fine. For example, out of these four sets which you have done just now, most difficult was a cutoff one. Which looks as the easiest one but that's in fact the most difficult one. And the second difficult one was a tournament based question. The one where Yuraj, Sevag, all the values are given to you. Fine. And intentionally the last set which I've kept in the last intentionally was the most easiest one which is talking about the universities and which university, which college, which country people came from which, to which university and second one grade one was second level easy. Fine. So the selection of the question become very very important in the exam. Alright. Now you will see in this set it will be one set based on theta which is type in the answer type of question but trust me that won't be the major problem you have to worry about so theta is not going to affect that much in the DI section DI logic section theta is not affecting that much fine theta's main problem come in verbal and especially para jumble otherwise theta have no problem at all yeah so one set of theta will be there so four question will be based on theta which you can manage trust me won't be that big problem if you understand the strategy part. Fine. Fine. So now when we solve the question, if you're joining us for the complete program, then I will be explaining you the uh, how to uh, approach every question and where the theta is going to affect you and where it's not going to affect you. Alright. Now from the attempt point of view, there are two kind of people who have come up, come up with. Uh, number one, there are four kind of way you can attempt the paper. So now we'll talk about the paper attempting and the cutoff. So we got 30 questions to do. Type A students who are Superman. In half an hour they will complete all 16 questions. They attempt all 16 questions. Basically completing all the 4 sets. Fine. Very good attempt. But we have to check your accuracy. 
that's where we'll find out what the accuracy is fine so type a student if you do that that's a good sign but you are not at the cost of the accuracy i've taken this set in the class the same test in the class last week and i find out the people who did all of them attempted all the question were actually doing maximum question wrong fine so you have to avoid this scenario of a type a student fine type b so this is superman with super natural power type b is batman batman have no supernatural powers batman have gadgets or strategies to improve his performance fine so batman type student will attempt 12 questions that is three sets see why a will not be a very good strategy because of the fact you get 30 divided by 4 7.5 minutes per question so that's a very very less time to solve per set whereas 10 minutes 30 minutes divided by 3 10 minutes per set is a doable set so i can attempt a few question if this is my speed fine type c student will only attempt eight question that is two sets and the time become 15 minutes per question that is very much possible that's humanly a good intelligence person can do that and type d will only target four set that is one question and get 30 minutes per set now maximum people in the exam they tried to jump on to this phase but they ended up with this because they either maximum question wrong or they couldn't understand the set and they fumbled up fine so now from the cut off point of view if you are type d student only target four question right do all of them right you will get at least 90 percent time because maximum janta are going to be negative or fumbling up in the paper if you are type c student you will end up with 99 percent time yes two sets right in di for more than sufficient to get 99 percent time if you do three three sets right your score will touch 99.5 plus and all four set will be the topper 99.99 all right so you have to decide yourself where you stand and how much you need yep that is very important to understand all right that's all I wanted to cover up in this workshop so if you're planning to join us what we're launching are four workshop quant verbal logic di so all four workshop basically talking about the strategy part with the promise to increase your score by at least 10 percentile with the overall strategy fine so in case you're interested in the workshop online or in classroom you can join us so you can call us on this number which is 9594441448 or go to ctking.com and get more information all right so we are starting with this master class workshops which are there to help you increase your score all right so that's where you have to strategize yourself in the di section all right all the best thank you